In America, one of our most cherished beliefs is that if you can find a good idea, sacrifice, work hard, and just keep at it, any dream can come true. And if you ever wanted proof that this ethic is alive and well, look no further than Liberty Pumps. The story of Liberty begins in October 1965, when Fred Cook, a former farmer and salesman for a Buffalo oil burner manufacturer, took a chance and decided to buy the company's sump pump business when they put it up for sale. This took all of his own money, plus everything else he could borrow and raise. His first decision was where to locate the business, but that was easy. He headed back to his hometown of Bergen, New York, where he knew and loved the people as friends and neighbors. Bergen, it's just a great rural community. The people are, are caring, hardworking. They, they look out for each other, and that attitude comes right inside of our building, and I think it's part of why we're a great company. The business soon found its footing, and by 1972, Fred had doubled the size of his facility and was up to seven full-time employees, including a recent college graduate named Charlie Cook, who also happened to be Fred's nephew. There it is, at the original building. How many square feet was it? It's like uh, 4,800 square feet on two levels. I was a trained engineer and I thought, well, I'm, I probably should be looking for something uh, that's a little bit higher level than going into a sump pump company. But when I got into it, the excitement kind of grew. And I think a lot of that is that you got to participate in every aspect of the business and really learn it. Above all, Charlie gained an appreciation for the value of relationships with all of his partners, especially customers whom he would visit, talk to on the phone, and see at trade shows. And he'd always come back with suggestions for improvements, trying to stay ahead of what was needed. My uncle initially was selling only sump pumps. And uh, when that's the case, you're very busy if it's wet and you're, you have nothing going on if it's dry. And so he began to modify some of those sump pumps to be able to handle sewage. So what he did that was unique is he would pre-assemble those sewage pumps into basins, and that was an innovation at the time. But it did open doors and established himself as a player in that part of the market. In 1975, Fred retired and turned over the reins to Charlie. More innovations soon followed. The hugely popular LE series of sewage pumps was launched in 1979, followed by an industry-changing product, the first 370 series assembled sewage package. These products would form the foundation for many more industry-leading innovations, fueling the tremendous growth that the company has experienced ever since. 1987 brought the first CNC equipment into the machine shop, and the engineering department began using computer-aided design software. A few years later, lean manufacturing techniques were adopted throughout the company. We're in a competitive industry, so the more you can enhance your processing with advanced technology, whether it be robotics or some other advanced manufacturing method, just makes for smarter manufacturing. But great products and state-of-the-art technology are only part of what has made Liberty Pumps successful. We're willing to do whatever it takes to satisfy the customer. There's times when somebody works past their shift to finish an order or come in after hours to load a truck on a rush shipment. So we'll do basically whatever it takes. Uh, the customer comes first. Uh, they're what makes Liberty successful. In fact, when a customer calls, they always get a live voice answering the phone. Even with the hundreds of calls that come in every day, they get back the same day with quotes and answers and they ship fast. No wonder Liberty Pump's customer service is considered among the best in the industry. In the early 1990s, the company looked outside of the U.S. and successfully entered the Canadian market. This was soon followed by expanding its distribution into several other areas of the world. We ship tens of thousands of pumps a month. It's a huge brand in North America. Uh, we shipped over 30 countries. It's a sense of pride that this is all coming out of Virgin, New York. With continued growth and the Liberty brand gaining strength, in 2000, the company built an entirely new facility from the ground up. 
During the next 15 years, a number of expansions would increase the space by more than a quarter million square feet. And in 2016, Liberty Pumps became an ESOP company, making everyone who works here not just an employee, but an owner who shares in the profits. The culture here at Liberty Pumps is very family-oriented, it's very personable, and that shows in the quality of the products that we put out the door. The members all take ownership and pride in what they're building, and Liberty Pumps is always celebrating accomplishments and milestones. So having that recognition goes quite a long ways. In 2019, Charlie became chairman of the board, and his daughter Robin Brookhart, who started in the marketing department and worked her way up through various roles within the company, was appointed president and CEO. We've always had a strong culture, even before the ESOP. It's important because it's the root of a company's success. And a big part of our company's culture is our caring atmosphere. We care. We care about the people we work with, our customers, our community. We care about the quality of our work, and we care about the company as a whole. That is a huge reason why we're so successful, and that ties directly into our culture. That same year, the company introduced Liberty Engineered Products, larger pumps designed for industrial, municipal, and commercial applications. It is these pumps that have fueled Liberty's most recent growth surge. I think what excites me the most is I've seen how far we've grown in the nine years that I've been here, and I can see that potential of how much more we're gonna grow going forward. New products that are coming out and seeing when our vendors and distributors come in, the excitement they have when they have a new product to take out and show the plumbers. And so all those changes are very exciting. In 2023, the company employed over 330 members and wrapped up yet another expansion that had taken their manufacturing campus to 350,000 square feet. And so, from humble beginnings in upstate New York, and through dedication to hard work, innovation, and fair treatment to all, Liberty Pumps has grown to become one of the largest and most respected pump brands in North America. When I think back over the years and how successful we've been, I really feel like we've laid the groundwork to continue that success. We have a bright, talented workforce, an amazing facility, and we're just going to keep doing more of what we currently do. At Liberty Pumps, our future is bright.